Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Adize if you're new to this channel and you're welcome to my vlog. So in today's video, I'm going to be vlogging, just basically showing you guys what my typical day is like. Um, I didn't start vlogging from when I woke up from sleep, okay, but I've woken up, I've had my bath, I've played with my kids small. But yeah, I just finished arranging my room and I want to go out. You guys, pardon any noises you hear around. They are doing construction in the next building in the next compound and they have been fighting since morning i don't know what they're fighting for i don't know who they're fighting about so i know is that i've been hearing raised voices since morning anyway so yeah um um i'm going to be showing you guys my typical day but basically what made me want to make this video was a question i keep getting over and over again um yeah i keep getting this question i know i sound like a typical youtuber that says you guys have been asking me so today i'm going to tell you <laughs> yes actually if you're not a youtuber you might not understand but yes we youtubers actually get a lot of recovery occurring recurring continuous what's the english we get a lot of questions repeatedly okay uh you may not see it in our comment section but sometimes we get dms we get emails about certain particular questions over and over again so that's what i want to answer in this video okay and the question is how do you manage to juggle you know family life being a mom being pregnant being a youtuber you know everything you do how do you manage to do everything and do it well and i'm going to be answering that question in this video while showing you what I do in a day, basically. So yeah, if you'd like to spend the day with me, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Come and see. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Look here. <laughs> hello, everyone. You guys. Cora has had, um, I don't know if it's sore throat, she doesn't even tell me what exactly is worrying her but I looked into her, first of all I noticed that her voice has changed a bit so yeah I noticed that her voice has changed a bit and then if I noticed her voice changed like two days ago and I was asking everybody, I people hearing the difference in Cora's voice and nobody heard it, that is the power of a mother, nobody heard the difference, I was like Cora's voice has changed so by yesterday it was becoming worse at least to my hearing i could hear that her voice has changed a lot so i had to ask her is your mouth spinning you because i was suspecting hi ava come and say hi so yeah as i was saying say hi hi okay so yeah as i was saying i was suspecting a throat infection but i didn't want to ask her because i don't complain about any pain in her throat I know. so don't make noise Yes, it's for my baby. Yes, yes to eat. No, 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 no. Yes, it's my baby's food. Yes, it's your baby's medicine. Yes. It's all up. No, 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 no. <laughs> See what she's talking about. My pregnant care gummies. You guys, I'm not even gummies. lying. In the past, yeah, gummies. it's gummies. In the past one week, I'm not taking my medicine and I feel guilty. I need to take it a bag. Hey. Anyway, so as I was saying, Jerry, what was I even saying? You've interrupted me now, I've forgotten. Okay, yeah, so I didn't want to ask her, do you have any do you have any pain in your throat? Because I know that she will say yes. So I asked her, is your mouth paining you? She said no. And I said, where is paining you? She now showed me her throat. I now knew that, okay, she had a throat infection. Then, Mommy, yesterday, I now Mommy, took... Look okay. I mean, you're my pain. What are you? You're a pirate. Yes, I'm a pirate. Okay. So yesterday, I you push your let me talk now. So yesterday, I looked into her mouth with my camera, with my phone lights. I looked into her throat, and I could see that one part was blocked, one part was open. I don't know if it is. I don't know if the part that is open is is. I don't know which part is the off part, whether it's the open part or it's the closed part. But I could see white white stuff on her throat, so I just knew that yeah, she has a throat infection and that's what that's what was worrying her basically so i've been giving her vitamin c but i need to call i gave her pastime last night because she was really complaining that she couldn't eat so i need to call the hospital this morning and book an appointment yeah, to 
come to our house. No, they won't come here. They will book an appointment for you to come. But I don't even want to book any appointment. They should just tell me what to buy for. I let me go and buy the medicine. I don't even want to go go there to collect. You should go and take injection. You don't want injection. Nope. But it's because you are always sucking, sucking every time you are sucking. So now the germs in your throat. Throat, but I don't want injection. Yes, but there's bacteria in your throat, so we need to put injection to kill all the bacteria in your throat and chase everything away. I don't want to. Okay, but you take medicine. I just wanted to take. A lot of medicine every yeah. day. I'll drink a lot of medicine. She prefers medicine because all her all their medicines are sweet. Well, you will soon drink the one. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, I'm trying to call the clinic, and the lines have been busy for the past thirty minutes or whatever. Anyway, so Cora is supposed to start classes. Cora's class is supposed to start by 10, but they sent us a mail that sorry that there's going to be some delay due to technical errors, blah 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 blah. So I just have to wait for when she will start. But I need to eat, I need to find something to eat, okay? I'll see you guys later. Yeah, alright guys, so I came to the kitchen to look for what to eat. For some reason, my tummy feels tired i'm no longer as hungry as i was when i was upstairs so i just made tea to drink so i wanted to discuss how i juggle my life basically as a mom as a youtuber you know trying to be consistent trying to take care of my kids very well you know someone even asked me how are you so detailed with your kids hair and stuff like that and one thing i would say is this eh? why i why it looks like i have it all together or why it looks like I'm at peace with my life basically or I'm happy or I'm doing well basically is because I have settled this in my head a long time ago that as a woman you cannot have it all okay you cannot have it all okay and I'm going to explain not even just as a woman as a mother especially as a woman yes maybe you can if you're not if you're single but as a mother you cannot have it all so the earlier you accept that reality the better for you. you okay you have to just work out ways to try and make you know strike a balance but if you're expecting every aspect of your life to go on smoothly and perfectly while being a mother it's not going to be possible because you are one person but you have so many responsibilities and the truth of the matter is this okay fathers also do not have it all but we don't talk about fathers because for some reason we minimize their uh, contributions in a home we minimize their responsibilities in a home once a man is able to go to work and you know make money and provide for his family we applaud him as father of the year he's doing so well you know we feel like he has it all you know he's a, he's a boss at, at work he's a, a very good friend he hangs out with his friends he, he you know he's very he takes care of his relatives he's known in his village as the this and that you know and he provides for his home so we feel like men always have it all but women we struggle we struggle to be friends we struggle to be mothers we struggle to be but the truth is that men also sacrifice a lot for them to be seen as the perfect boss perfect um perfect um friend perfect uh family man and all that okay they sacrifice sometimes they sacrifice their roles in their children's lives just for that but we don't we don't think about it because we minimize their role once they provide money it has it has finished it has not finished it has not finished <laughs> there is a lot that men need to do in a home to make sure that their home a lot they need to do for their wives a lot they need to do for their children both emotionally spiritually physically for them to you know for them to really be father of, fathers of the year or good fathers but like i said we give a lot of excuses so we now feel like and i'm not the kind of person that is saying I'm not, I've said it before that I'm not the kind of person that will say, because men are doing this, why can't women get away with doing this? No, my own is what is the right thing to do, okay? So I'm not here to say that we should allow women to relegate their roles in the home or uh, mothers to relegate their homes or their responsibilities as mothers so that they can also become good bosses or be excel in other aspects of their lives the way men excel. No, I'm not saying we should, we should, we should give women a pass. I'm saying that we should stop giving men a pass as well okay women and men who decide to bring children into this world should be collectively held responsible for you know how they raise those kids okay yeah so because like i said so because i've made peace with the fact with that fact a long time ago 
it looks like I have everything together. I don't have everything together. Some things in my life is some things in my life are suffering. Some things are suffering, okay? And personally, there are things that I allow suffer because I have priorities, okay? I have priorities of what I can allow suffer and what I cannot allow suffer. And when it comes to what I cannot allow suffer, it is my role as a mom, taking care of my kids, being a good wife. Those are the things that I cannot allow suffer. Making money, uh, yeah, I'm not making, I know for a fact that I'm not making as much money as I should make for my age, for my exposure, for my education, for my talent, everything. I'm not making as much money as I, as I should make or as I can make. But like I said, uh, yeah, I can allow that one slide for now simply because I have done my maths, I have checked out the dynamics of my family and I've seen that it's okay for me to allow those things suffer. And I sleep very well at night, allowing them suffer. Okay. Yes, that's my mentality. This money, I can make it some other time. I can, I can still make this money. As long as there's life, there's hope. I can still make enough money. I can still make as much money as I should be making. But for right now, with the age of my children, with a husband who is also doing well but has to be out of um, the house for long periods of time, I can make as much money. And like I said, I have made peace with that, okay? You guys, hold on. I have a call. Yeah, sorry. Um, I received a call. So, as I was saying, Jerry, uh, I have made peace with the fact that I can't make as much money as I would like to make. Even from YouTube, I don't make as much money as I can make in life generally. But specifically even from YouTube and other social media platforms, I don't make as much money because I don't have the time or the energy to even like put in my best. I'm even trying on YouTube. Instagram zero. <laughs> Instagram zero, but please go and follow me on Instagram, please. I, I, I once in a while I post things there and I ask questions there and I and I post stories more often. But the way I want my page to be, you know how influencer influencers pages are. I want my page to be like that, but I don't have the time or the energy to do it. Okay, um, for YouTube, I would like to be more consistent. It's not like I don't even have content. I have a lot of content ideas, but to sit down and film them or to vlog while you know going about my day. It's stressful for me because I'm pregnant, okay? Most times I wake up with banging headache. In fact, for the past three days, I've been waking up with half of my head like this, gone, half. Half like this, from my teeth to my ears to my head. Headache every single morning. In fact, at this point, I'm tired of popping uh, 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 paracetamol because personally, when I'm pregnant, I don't even like to take drugs. Even when they give me drugs, I used to throw it away. Yes, I have to confess, I used to throw it away. Okay. Sometimes I try not to take it, but there are times that it's so unbearable that I have to take paracetamol, okay? So, considering all these things, the, I don't, I'm not putting in my best in my, in, my, in my YouTube and other platforms as I used to. I don't even reply comments the way I used to, just because I cannot, like, I, sometimes I try, especially when I post a video, I start replying, you know, the comments that come immediately. After a while like this, I can't even see clearly. In fact, yesterday, I noticed that I wasn't seeing clearly at all. I was like, okay, okay, like the devil is like you, you have missed road, you don't know where you're supposed to be going, you're coming to come and disturb my eyesight, okay? <laughs> yes, I couldn't see clearly yesterday, I was trying to read something on the, on the TV that I normally read, I couldn't read it, I said, okay, I was looking at my screen, I was scrolling, I wasn't seeing clearly, I said, okay, I just I switched off everything and laid down, you know, and this morning I feel better. So anyway, in a nutshell, all I'm saying is that I don't have my life as put together as many people might think i just prioritize what i'm going to put all my energy and and um, effort into which is my kids my family basically and this pregnancy i can't I don't even have a choice like i have to put my energy in the pregnancy because it's on me okay you guys my husband is trying to chase me away from the house he's trying to pursue me from this house let me explain so we have three rooms upstairs right one room is for me as our room the other room is for the kids and the third room was supposed to be well technically that's Eva's room but <laughs> Eva call <laughs> so technically the third room is supposed to be Eva's room but she can't have a room so I use that room as my office and I you know basically put my stuff there but now now that I'm having a baby, I need to turn that room into a nursery stroke or mugwa room, meaning that's where my mom is going to stay. Normally, my mom stays downstairs because it's a visitor's room downstairs, but there's really no point her staying downstairs with the baby. Like, it's not going to work. So, we're going to turn that room now into the um, baby room plus my mom's room. 
So my husband is now saying that I cannot leave my things there, that I should come and stay. Inside here, this is the boys' quarters. So he's saying I should come and stay inside here. What? You don't want to play sand again. You want biscuits. So anyway, as I was saying, this is one of the rooms in the boys' quarters and my husband is saying that I should turn here into my office. The problem I have with this place is that there is a fence here. There's a fence here, so this window is a source of light is not going to be that much. <clears throat> Although now that I'm looking at it during the day, it's not as dark as it I, I used to see it. But yeah, he even painted the place for me, sharp sharp. <laughs> He painted the place for me sharp sharp so that I will not, I will not argue but uh -uh, it's not enough, it's not enough because okay so I want to test um, it's already looking too dark I want to test the lighting in here so that I'll see if I can film my videos here I can, I can, I can actually film my videos here if I keep my camera here and this will be my background but this is going to be a very nonsense background I'll rather put my background here but if I do that, it's going to be dark. Very, very dark for that matter. I told him that this place is too dark. He said he will buy lights for me. Mm. Yimo, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want. It's not going to work for me. The only way this place can work is if I sit like this and face the window. Yeah, I actually like the lighting outside here, but... Yeah, so people should tell him to leave me alone. No. He should stop pushing me from the house. I want to stay there. I don't want, I don't want office. Let, yes, let me be freestyling. I don't want office. <laughs> because to be honest, actually, I, will, I wanted a space of my own that's like my office office where I can do everything I want to do and arrange everywhere the way I want to arrange it. But it's not going, this space does not cut it. The, he said he's going to buy lighting for me, but I don't like filming with artificial lighting. And even if he buys artificial lighting, how many what type is going to buy how am i going to fix it which space will I, I beg i beg i beg i beg i beg hi cora hi how you feeling baby nah good you're not feeling good sorry which one is paining you now your truth your truth is still paining you yeah okay we'll go out okay to where to the market and pharmacy and yeah market and pharmacy yeah, when uh, uh, when we are done going there, what is next we're going to go to? We'll come back now. C come back home. Yes. Okay, but I wanted to go now. You want to go now? Mm hmm Just hold on a bit. Let's um Amanchi pack your bags, okay? We we'll pack our bags with some ribina and mm. some biscuits. Yes. Good. All right. So continue watching. Testing one, two, three. Testing microphone. Testing one, two, three. <sighs> you guys, something just happened right now. Something just happened right now. <laughs> Elasticity's voice. You guys, I I removed my um my regular microphone because it's on top of my camera and it's bulky when I want to vlog in my car. So I decided to use my lapel mic. That was how I did not put on this mic, lapel mic. You guys, I left my house by. 12 o'clock and i vlogged throughout this is currently past four to five and i vlogged throughout without sound all the footage not one sound like i'm just mad at myself but whatever i said this vlog we must complete it i will sit down on the floor and complete the vlog okay um yeah so um what happened yes i went to the pharmacy to get drugs for car i went to the clinic actually um this day i called the doctor the doctor told me that i should take cora for tests and then i should go to pharmacy and take drugs but i wasn't with cora so i just went to the pharmacy and took the drugs tomorrow i'll take her to the clinic for a proper test hopefully the thing goes down in fact even the pharmacy i went to they gave us um they gave us antibiotics and vitamin c and personally i don't like giving my children antibiotics i think i said it before anytime they prescribe antibiotics for my children i used to throw it away okay <laughs> <laughs> I used to throw it away, but this time I don't think I'll throw it away because she really needs it and all that. Anyway, so I went to the pharmacy. I went to different markets, different supermarkets. I was showing you guys around. I was talking about this. I'm talking about that. 
Anyway, uh, some days are just like that. But I find that this uh, sound thing has never happened to me before. I don't know why it happened today. So, uh, what was I even gist itself? What was I saying? I don't even know where to start from in this gist. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying about, you know, having a, all your ducks in the row and, you know, being a superwoman and all that. Like I said, I'm not a superwoman and I really don't try to be a superwoman. I have my priorities, you know, set. So I know what I give more energy to and what I don't give enough energy to, okay? You know, these are, these are sacrifices that I'm making for right now because of the way my, my, my life is set up, okay? So another thing that suffers for me is um, relationships, um, friendships, family, you know, relationships, stuff like that. It suffers for me because... I'm not the type to always call people or always hang out with people. Um, yeah, a lot of friendships are suffering. A lot of relationships are suffering. But I've also made peace with that because, number one, I keep telling myself, as long as I'm not intentionally ignoring anybody, I'm not intentionally trying to hurt anybody, friendships that cannot, um, friendship that, friendships that cannot survive this phase of my life, I'll let them go, okay? Someday when things change, we can, you know, get back into, we can become friends again or we can become close again and we can, you know, do things and everybody will be happy. I have set my priorities and I, I can afford to let my social life go. I can afford to let making more money go, like I said, okay? And when I say all these things, because what part of why I even decided to make this video is to encourage a lot of mothers out there, especially young mothers. A lot of mothers out there are stressed out simply because they are trying to balance everything. They're trying to make everything work. You know, they see people who they think have it all and they're trying to also have it all. You can't have it all. Forget what you see on the internet, okay? If anybody's lying to you, I'm here to tell you the truth. You people know now, I always tell you the truth. <laughs> Forget what you see on the internet. You see a woman who can afford to give her children fresh meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You see a woman who can afford to do science projects with her daughter, art projects with her son. Um, they go for ballerina classes, go for karate classes. You know, she's, she's almost like the, the, you know, ideal mom, almost like the Pinterest kind of mom. I don't even know what I, I mean by Pinterest mom. You see a woman, she's a Pinterest mom. She has all that and all that. Do you know what is suffering in her life? You don't know what is suffering in her life. And she's not going to come out and tell you, except yeah, some, people, some people actually say what is suffering in their life. But many of them will not tell you what is suffering in their lives, okay? So, ask yourself, can you afford to allow what is suffering in her own life, suffering in your own life? Can you afford to allow it? No. Some of these women who are doing all these things, their husbands are mega, mega, super, super rich, okay? They are super rich, you know, or they have one project or one, um, one product that they made, years ago that is selling and giving them residual income so they can afford to you know live that kind of life but you that you have to work or you have to you know take care of your kids by yourself or you have to do something by yourself you now start seeing her and you're like oh my god i wish my life could be like that is your husband dangote is your husband not <laughs> you know don't try to spoil what you have if it ain't broke do not fix it okay we cannot all be one way okay the same way we come in different shapes and sizes and colors is the same way what makes us happy comes in different colors shapes sizes and heights as well okay and for all the Georginas out there don't look at me and think oh she's saying all this because she's not educated enough or she's not smart enough or she cannot get a good job or you know she's not no you guys i actually got a scholarship when i was in university okay i found the scholarship myself i applied i went and wrote the exam and i got the scholarship on merits okay nobody helped me nobody helped me to get any decent I got, I actually went through university with Shell scholarship. So I paid my, my own uh, school fees while I was in, in school, okay? After school, I, when my mom had a shop, I used to go to my mom's shop. I used to help my mom to sell in her shop. I used to run in the market. Like if, for instance, we used to sell um, um, provisions, I used to sell in bulk. We used to sell sometimes wholesale and retail, okay? So for instance, maybe we want to sell milk and milk has finished and the customer is waiting. You guys, inside markets, you see me running. I will run to the wholesaler shop, go and collect one carton of milk, kite on my head, and run back to my mom's shop. I was investing when I was doing this thing, though. So don't think that I'm one of those people who she, she can't hustle. That's why she 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 would rather stay at home and chopping her husband's money. No, when worst case scenario, I know that I can get down in the dirt to try and make money. You guys, I have sold chin chin before. Like I make chin chin by myself and package it and sell. I used to bake cake and sell. I used to bake. Um, cakes for people's parties, birthday cakes and stuff like that. I used to bake 
you guys have seen the birthday cakes I made for my kids. If you don't know, then I'll maybe I'll insert pictures or watch my earlier vlogs. I actually used to make my kids' birthday cakes by myself, okay? So I used to make dresses and sell. I used to make ready-made dresses, like I'll sew baby dresses and packages like ready-made and sell. Okay, so I'm not one of the people who um, are afraid to hustle or are too lazy to hustle. And I'm not one of those dumb people who don't have sense or who are not smart enough. You guys, my first job in a bank, nobody helped me get that job. I actually went on the internet, I saw the vacancy, I applied for myself, I went and wrote the exam, and I went for the interviews, and I got the job, okay? And I worked there when I started, I, I resigned by myself, they did not sack me, okay? In fact, one of my managers who interviewed me during my, you know, recruitment process, the man remembered me from my interview. That's to tell you how memorable my interview was, okay? The man remembered me from my interview and they interviewed a lot of people. He wasn't even one of those third stage interviews where they now interview few people. He was the beginning stage interviewer. So he interviewed a lot of people. Still, he could remember my interview very well. That's to show you that this person right here is not one dumb chick that does not know what she's doing, okay? So yeah, the reason why I am giving you guys my CV is just to show you that I'm not coming from a place of laziness or lack of intelligence or lack of ambition. I'm coming from a place of, you know, um, I've, I've, I've checked my life. I have, you know, calculated so many things and I decided that this is the best option for my life right now, okay? And one thing that works for me again is that I am very content with my life, okay? Contentment is actually a very big deal. Now, contentment doesn't mean lack of ambition. It doesn't mean that I don't want to, I don't want to do more with my life. If I tell you guys where I see my life tomorrow, if I'm going to be shocked, okay? <laughs> if I'm going to be shocked, the kind of things I, I actually envision about my life and my family, okay? So contentment is not lack of ambition. Contentment is that for right now, with what I have right now, I am okay. I am fine. I am not coveting any other person's, um, you know, happiness or any other person's source of income, any other person's, you know, possession. I am not coveting any other person's life. I am actually happy and satisfied with my life as of right now while I walk towards where I want my life to be tomorrow. Okay, contentment. You guys, I can wear bathroom slippers and enter the market. And at the same time, I can wear Louboutin and go for dinner. Okay, <laughs> at the same time, I am someone who is very open-minded and logical okay so if i hear something or if i come across new information that makes me reevaluate my life and my decisions in life i will embrace it with both arms if i calculate and see that okay this thing actually makes sense for my life but not one of those people that you come and talk down on and think depending them it doesn't work for me <laughs> so yeah you guys i think i've talked too much in this video i actually like you know, gisting. And some people tell me, oh, try and make your videos longer. I'm like, eh, my videos are actually, I actually feel like my videos are too long. But some people are always telling me, this video is too short. Try and make your videos longer. I thought about, you know, on my second channel, I thought about just turning the channel into a gisting channel, a channel where I just do live streams, where we just gist, where, hmm, that might be a good idea, actually. We just gist, we just talk, you know, and just, you know, banter and stuff like that. Maybe I might do that with my second channel, but yeah, right now I don't have the energy. I tried to talk about um, having a podcast, but guess what? I don't listen to podcasts, <laughs> which is so stupid. Like, how do you not listen to podcasts? I want to go and open your own podcast. Like, does it even make, I don't even know how people host podcasts or what podcasts are all about. I just know that it's where people go and talk. And you go and listen almost like a radio station or something i don't know i think so yeah so i thought about that but yeah i can't even go and do radio because i don't have the accent for it i don't have the accent for um typical uh, a normal english radio station and i don't have the accent i don't even know how to speak pigeon English, so i can't even go to a pigeon radio station like i don't have it as in pigeon english radio station because i can't even speak pigeon english for long periods of time okay I know if you speak pigeon for very long. <laughs> I know if you speak pigeon well, well, plenty, plenty, tete, whatever. But even though I speak pigeon, I can't speak it for long conversations. So that one's not going to work. So let me know what you guys think. Should I do live streams on this channel where we just gist and talk about life and everything and anything? Or should I start it on my second channel, just do live streams there and not just live streams, but just post videos basically where I am talking or... You people don't just care. Yeah, if you don't care, just let me know in the comment section. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. You guys, I'm so exhausted because today was very eventful. Like, it was very eventful. I went out alone without my kids, so I was able to talk very well. I was able to vlog very well, but 
no audio not even not even one clip had audio so yeah um um, I need to go and give Cora her medicine right now. So I'm just going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.